Okay, guys, I'm going to do this because I've got it. I got to hold it here. But I want to share this with you guys. Here's another one of his false claims about me that he has a recording about me. I mean, I could go and open up all the comments, but it's probably going to delete my reply to him. I guarantee it's probably going to. No, it kept my reply. So, all right, good. But let's go ahead and read this. Okay, he's trying to use Titus 3 1. Okay, falsely. So I posted that so that it was there. See, again, again, out of comments. So let's go here. Let's go here, right here. Okay, you're just all bent out of shape because you're Masonic King James mind controlling British Israelism. False doctrine is so easily refuted and confuted that you think people are attacking your stone of scone supporting mind control. Okay, Titus 3.10 out through 11 qualifies you for rejecting that heresy. Okay, again, he took it out of context. That's obeying God rather than the government. And he tries to do that again out of context. Now, it's teachings from UEO. Law, no biblical authority whatsoever within your heretic. You have been exposed by your own path of self-deification. Bow to me mentality proves you are the heretic. Uh, edifying others channel to this Titus 3, 1. Put them in mind to be subject to principalities and powers. To obey magistrates, to be ready to every good work, speak evil of no man, but to be brawl, to be no brawlers, but gentle, showing all meekness unto all men. Well, he already violates that. Let's see right here, verse three says, "For we ourselves have also were sometimes foolish, disobedient, deceived, serving diverse lusts and pleasures, living in malice and envy and hateful, hating one another. But after that, the kindness and love of God our Savior toward man appeared, not by works of righteousness which we have done according to His mercy, He saved us by the washing of regeneration and the renewing of Holy Ghost." which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we should be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life. This is a faithful saying, and these things I will that thou affirm constantly, that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works. These things are good and profitable unto men, but avoid foolish questions and genealogists and contentions and strivings about the law, for they are unprofitable in vain. There he is in violation of that as well. A man that is an heretic after the first and second admonition reject, knowing that he that is such is subverted in sin, being condemned of himself, which is what he's done to himself, but he's trying to claim that on us. When I shall send Artemis unto the year Tychus, Tychesus, be diligent to come unto me to Nicopolis, for I have determined there to winter, bring Zenus the lawyer and Apollos on the journey diligently, that nothing be wanting unto them, and let ours also learn to maintain good works for necessary uses, that they be not unfruitful. All that are with me salute thee, greet them that love us in the faith. Grace be with you all. Amen. So I wrote this to him. First off, the scripture is about obeying God's authority, not your authority, EO. Secondly, if not once challenged or accused me of anything directly, then instead you chose to the backbiting, gospel -like, gossiping like silly women approach. You got busted doing so. Your fangs are showing. Secondly, the scripture you claim to use to admonish and rebuke me by are out of context. When used in this manner, you applied it as a weapon. Well, you just proved your several videos on YouTube as you being a wolf in sheep's clothing. Thank you for providing that you are not of God. Then he comes back and he makes this comment to me. And this is what I laughed about. Now you're worried and that's where this one, stupid one came in. Uh, to keep your mouth shut. Now you false teachers think Ephesians 5.11. So here he claims to have no fellowship with the unfruitful. I have no fellowship with the fruit, unfruitful works. And that's why I unsubscribed from him months ago because of his extortion-based preaching. But he doesn't see it that way. So then he claims Ephesians 5.11. But let's read here what, what Ephesians 5 really is about. Therefore, be, there, be ye therefore followers of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also hath loved us, and hath given himself for us in an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling savor. But fornication and all uncleanliness, all uncleanness, covetousness, let it not be once named among you, as become a saints. <clears throat> Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor jesting, which are not convenient, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know, that no whoremonger, nor unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, hath any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. Let no man deceive you with vain words, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. See, he's condemning himself, and he doesn't realize it by the very scriptures he's quoting, because he takes them out of context to justify his own actions and behaviors. Okay? Be you not, 
Be not ye therefore partakers with them. For you were sometimes in darkness. You were sometimes darkness. But I, but now are ye light. In the Lord walk as children of light. <laughs> the fruit of the Spirit is in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Proving what is acceptable unto the Lord. And have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. But rather reprove them. Here we go with this thing. So we'll read it right here next. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. So he tried to do this in secret. So my justification of exposing him was because he was trying to do it secretively and sneakily. Now, this is why my rebuke still stands and my scriptures still stand against him. Secondly, let's read further. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. <clears throat> See then that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Wherefore be you not unwise, but understanding what the, the will of the Lord is. And be not drunk with wine wherein is excess, but be filled with the, with the Spirit speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs and singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord, giving thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God. Okay? Why submit yourself unto your own husbands as unto the Lord? For the husband is the head of the wife, even as Christ is the head of the church. And he is the Savior of the body. Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. Husbands, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church, and gave himself up, or gave himself for it, that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present to himself a glorious church, not having spot or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So ought the men to love their wives as their own bodies. He that loveth his wife loveth himself. For no man ever yet hated his own flesh, but nourished and cherisheth, but nourisheth and cherisheth it, even as the Lord the church. For we are members of his body, of his flesh, and of his bones. For this cause shall a man leave his father and mother, and shall be joined unto his wife, and they too shall be one flesh. This is a great mystery, but speak concerning Christ and the church. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife, even as himself, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. Okay? Before I finish typing that, I wanted you guys to read the scripture. Now, the key verses are back here, okay? Um, from 27 up. Okay? 1 through 27 is the whole context of that scripture. But I wanted to share the whole chapter with you guys so you understand the context behind it. Okay? Yet, he will inherently <clears throat> claim he has biblical authority, which he does not. Okay? I want you guys to see that false teaching. I mean, this guy has completely blown his whole cover of what he is. He called me an agent of, of, of the world, uh, agent of the government. Claims he has it on recording. What he has on recording is me talking about my computer being confiscated when I was nine years old, working for a sheriff's department as a volunteer reserve when I was 20. Okay, different times in my life, the government has made comments towards me and has blocked me. I'm labeled as a cyber terrorist. I've said it a thousand times. I'm labeled by Homeland Security as a cyber terrorist for the simple fact that I know more than they do about computers. <laughs> Look at the story of Kevin Mitnick. They jailed him. Gave him three years in prison without a trial. And without a conviction. <clears throat> okay. 
Well, that's a different subject, guys. But EO wants to claim that he's in biblical authority, that he has the authority to rebuke us Christians and that we have, uh, how dare us call him out and shut him down and shut down his behavior. Well, I got to shut it down. I got to shut down his attitude and his behavior because it's false. It's an error. And he wanted to go back behind my back like a silly woman and gossip and talk behind my back about me and then claim he has evidence against me. I have no fear of what he can say. Matthew 5 justifies everything that I've said. And let's go over to Matthew 5 and let's, let's confirm it. Rather than out of the camel's mouth here, or out of the horse's mouth, the old proverbial horse's mouth, let's go to Matthew chapter 5. <clears throat> and let's see right here in context. And seeing the multitudes, he went up in a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him and opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. <clears throat> Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when man shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly or be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing, but but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. You are the light of the world. A city that is set on the hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men, that they may see your good works, and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Think not that I come to destroy the law, or the prophets I am not come to destroy, but to fulfill. For verily I say unto you, till heaven and earth pass one jot or one tittle, shall in no wise pass from the law, till all be fulfilled. Whosoever therefore shall break one of these least commandments, and shall teach men so, he shall be called the least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever shall do and teach them, the same shall be called great in the kingdom of heaven. For I say unto you, that except your righteousness shall exceed the righteousness of the scribes and Pharisees, ye shall in no case enter into the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said by them of old time, Thou shalt not kill, and whosoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you, that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say to his brother, Raka, shall be in danger of the council. But whoever shall say, thou, whosoever shall say thy fool, thou fool, shall be in danger of hell fire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift to the altar, and there rememberest that thy brother hath ought against thee, leave there thy gift before the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him. Lest any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge, and the judge deliver thee to the officer, and thou be cast into prison. Verily I say unto thee, Thou shalt by no means come out thence until thou hast paid the uttermost farthing. You have heard that it was said by them of old that shall not commit adultery. But, who, but I say unto you that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her hath committed adultery with her already in his heart. Okay. EO, there you go. You're convicted again of Matthew 5, right there in that one there in verse 28. You're, you're a polygamist and an adulteress and an adulterer. And if thy right eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. If for it is possible for thee that one of thy members should perish and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. And if thy right hand offend thee, cut it off and cast it from thee, for it is profitable for thee, that one of thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. It hath been said, Whosoever shall put away his wife, let him give her a writing of divorcement. But I say unto you, that whosoever shall put away his wife, saving for the cause of fornication, causeth her to commit adultery. And whosoever shall marry her that is divorced, committeth adultery. Again, you have heard that it has been said by them of old time, Thou shalt not forswear thyself, but shalt perform unto the Lord thine oaths. But say unto you, Swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. Neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shalt thou swear by thy head, because thou canst not make one hair white or black. 
but let your communication be yea, yea, nay, nay, for whatsoever is more than these cometh of evil. You have heard that it had been said, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, but say unto you that ye resist not evil, but whosoever shall smite thee on thy right cheek, turn him to him the other also. And if any man will sue thee at the law, and take away thy coat, let him have thy cloak also. And whosoever shall compel thee to go a mile, go with him twain. Give to him that asketh thee, and from the him that would borrow thee, turn not thou away. You have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. But I say unto you, Love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that you may be the children of, the, of your Father which is in heaven. For he maketh his son to rise on the evil and on the good, and sendeth rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even the publicans the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others do? Do not even the publicans so? Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. Okay. I do not see EO as a Christian brother. Whatsoever, guys. He is not a Christian, so he is not a brother in Christ. And so therefore, I, I love him and I pray for him as an enemy. But I'm not going to support his false teachings and support his false accusations towards me ever again i'm not going to put up with it he can try to expose and claim what he's got against me to use against me i will file a copyright against him because he was not authorized to record anything that was a meeting between three brothers or two brothers and him and he chose to abuse that by recording it so with him trying that mess I'm going to let it go, and this will be my last video towards it. He's already been exposed. He's done. He's beat. Have a good day.